Okay, so we are in the middle of an unofficial recording slash editing session. Okay, uh, so Jewel has arrived. She has dropped off her cargo, and now it's it's it is twilight time, and this is where I will want to insert the mention of of the bunkhouse. She goes to bunk house, sleeps, but not for long. And for the moment, I will I will leave this part. Just uh, I will leave this part. Uh, uh, just a uh, note form here, and then. And then, uh, and then the next phase kicks in. She will. She goes to the bar after she's already awake. Yeah. So uh, after. So in fact, the bunkhouse uh, could go at the beginning of the second paragraph, actually. So the establishing here would be that Jewel emerges from the uh, from the bunkhouse. Bunkhouse could be it could be a uh, seeker run or it could be just the sta station thing, you know, like the pocket hotels, basically. Mm -hmm. Jewel image from the bunkhouse when it, when uh, the twilight mode is still in um, action. Engaged. <laughs> Engaged. Yeah, and uh, and uh, and uh, this will lead to the point that she favored this time of quiet. She took a little extra time measuring her steps before boarding the station transport unit. This could be said in two or three words, I think. Hmm. She lingered before boarding a transport unit. And you could probably get rid of unit. Let's see. That felt clunky when I was reading it out. What? Station transport unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, felt just, clunky just, as I was just reading transport. It out. Yeah. We already know that we are in the station. Mm -hmm. There is nobody else around. And also, I think here we don't specify whether the transport is like capsule or a cart or or a zip line. We just know that it gets <laughs> from here to there. <laughs> 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 Rice Star Station really pushing the boundaries there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jewel favorite this time of quiet. She lingered. <laughs> lingered. Lingered. <laughs> Ling oh, oh, yeah, you can see what I'm typing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what's so funny. She lingered a bit. Just she lingered, I think, is probably better yeah. for pacing. She lingered before boarding a trans. Uh, I think. Uh, we need something. Unit is still useful here. Alright, when I read it next time, I'll read it with the modified thing. Yeah. That entire sentence just goes. Go 
goes up in smoke. In fact, I think I can. I will be able to produce the bunkhouse mention right away. So let's see. Jewel slipped out of the communal bunkhouse. was still yeah the station was still in twilight mode mm -hmm. when Ju when jewel slipped out of the communal bunkhouse She favored this time of quiet. Actually, we can say she lingered before boarding the transport unit. Mm. And we don't even have to say that she favored this time of quiet. Uh, that's or more or of a tell, yeah, tell instead or of showing or, thing. or maybe she lingered to take in the quiet before boarding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she lingered taking in the quiet comma before boarding a transport unit before boarding a transport unit oh actually I'm gonna turn this around Taking in the quiet comma. This is how I end up with the uh, odd sentences when I move parts around uh, the, and uh, and some of the old sentence residue stays behind. Mm -hmm. Taking in the quiet she lingered before boarding a transport and now I don't need the unit anymore it's a transport the humming unit took her to, to the doorstep yeah to the doorstep of a secluded bar called the Genevieve yeah that one work. Uh, I'm just here to fill beard quota <laughs> right now that's, that's my role in this conversation yeah. Because, uh, dear readers at home, you do not want me to fill in the beer quota. Believe <laughs> me, uh, There needs to be a space here. Uh, uh, apart from that, okay, yeah. everything's sweet. But, yeah, I see it. The humming unit took her to the doorstep of a secluded bar called the Genevieve. Where were we? At the Genevieve. And I love how we both pronounce that differently. Yeah. Just like it should be. Mm-hmm. And places will be called differently by the locals and by the foreigners. Yep. Uh, okay, so... I'm thinking, just like the rest of the station, it was deserted. Point one. Should we even keep this sentence in? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of redundant because yeah. 
I mean, you can even get rid of the even the bartender had left his post because it's obvious the place is empty. I mean, you could probably replace secluded bar with uh, empty bar, maybe, or or something like that. The humming unit took her to the doorstep of a secluded bar called the Genevieve. Uh, mm -hmm. Empty, like the rest of the station at this hour. Yes, that works better than what was or there. Or deserted. Just a second, let me see what the previous second... Deserted. Um, blah, blah. We can cut the just like the rest of the station. That's the... Over information bit, I think. Uh, no, uh, actually, I think it's a combination of several things here. Like, we say the bar is secluded, and then we sort of stress that it's uh, it's deserted, but on the other hand, it is kind of relevant to know that it is deserted now. But then again, we don't we don't even have to bring it up, like whether whether it is empty or not is is actually relevant. Like we don't have to mention any of it uh, out loud. Like if somebody assumes that there is another person somewhere in there, good luck for them to find them. <laughs> <laughs> we also mentioned later on in the in the same paragraph for a brief period, Jewel could enjoy having the establishment all to herself. So. Uh, of course, I will probably have a problem with that sentence as well. But okay, but right now I'm gonna cut. I, I will. I will mark them grey. Mm -hmm. So this way we can see that this is where these sentences used to be. Actually, not not a grey marker, but grey. The story doesn't lose anything by having by cutting that out. Yeah. Jewel, I will cut instinctively. Jewel settled. Yeah. Uh, should it be into or to? Settled to the cornermost booth. In into, because okay. I imagine like it is a booth thing. I mean, yeah, it, she did even set, settle into chairs as well. You know, in in my vocabulary, mm. I settled onto the sofa. You know. Mm. Um. Jewel settled into the cornermost booth. Mm -hmm. Comma. Okay, I, I can see that earlier, in the first part, I have not followed uh, the Oxford comma everywhere. Or maybe I just wasn't proficient yet? I don't know. Jewel settled into the quartermost booth, comma, and keyed... And keyed in her order at the tabletop menu. Keyed is the wrong word. Typed. And placed her order at the tabletop menu. Bam, son. <laughs> at the tabletop menu. On the on the tabletop menu. I imagine. In the tabletop menu. There's like a sort of almost touch screen sort of interface. Yeah, yeah. As like she taps it in and it sort of. Then like it then just fades and becomes a normal table and her order is taken at that point. Yeah, and we we have we have that now basically. So yeah, I'm thinking yeah. and place her order in in on, <laughs> on shit order. <laughs> Picked her order from the tabletop menu. I think that's about ha as eloquently close as we're going to be yeah. able to get it. I picked her order from the tabletop menu. Now this, she forwarded her bill to the shuttle, is a sort of shorthand way. It's, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But it's also a shorthand way of stopping her from faffing with pulling out wallets and credits and all this sort of mm -hmm. shit. Like, it's a shorthand sentence that keeps the flow of the thing going. Yeah. Uh, should we say her shuttle or solitaire? Um, she forwarded the bill to sh 
solitaire, she forwarded the bill to her shuttle. Shuttle is prob probably... Uh, okay, I'm overthinking this. I think shuttle, shuttle is okay. And waited impatiently. Because uh, if somebody missed the point uh, earlier that the shuttle is called solitaire, this is not the good place to make them make them have to know it. Yeah. Did we mention oh, it in the in the first uh, do we do we actually say something it? Something we're gonna have to go back and check. But if we mention solitaire here, I know it's not the same word exactly, but her penchant for solitude was in start unless we change that as well. Uh, solitaire, solitude, you know, I think it's probably best to just stick oh, with the show. I, I will I will uh worry not, I will want to cop that one as well. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Off with her heads! <laughs> uh, okay, so this is characteristic. So let's say she forwarded the pill bill to her shuttle and waited, comma, tapping her foot. <laughs> like this. I don't think we mentioned the, sh the name of the shuttle in the first chapter. Mm. Okay. From my cursory glance here. In fact, hang on. Why don't we just do this the easy way? Solitaire. <laughs> the first mention of solitaire comes up. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. S uh, system set complete. Resuming course. The engine spooled into life. The people would remain in stasis until reaching a district beacon's notification range. Receive signal. Ride dip 072. Activating slowdown. Solitaire's retro thrusters fired up. Okay. I I think yeah. I think I remember. I think we put it there, just to have the shuttle name sort of out of the way. Mhm. Mm so it's is all good, but still I like, I wouldn't put it here. Okay. And I would agree with that. Mm. She was rewarded with hmm. When you go to a restaurant, order food, you're not rewarded with when the dude brings you your meal, you know? That's not <laughs> it's like par for the course of what happens at restaurants. Yeah. Um, also, uh, does uh, somebody actually bring the uh, bring the stuff to her, or is it automated? I th I feel it's automated. Per so personally, I feel it's automated. Like she taps in her order, waits a few minutes, and then an alcove at the end of the table mm. pops up, and her meal sort of slides yeah, out. Yeah, you know. yeah. You know, like like you would heat up a pie, sort of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yummy, yummy rice star pie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so basically, we can say that uh, that the little hatch open then. Oh, the lasagna <laughs> comes out. <Yeah. laughs> it's like opening the suitcase in Pulp Fiction, but with yeah. added like steam as well, like yeah. delicious meal. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> of course, now there, there's the time transition here. So she built the shuttle and waited, tapping for foot until a steaming hatch presented nice. her prize. The Rister Rabbit Lasagna. It sounds so delicious. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I would eat the shit out of that. I don't think I've even had rabbit before in my life, but I would I would eat the Rice Star Rabbit Lasagna. One hundred percent. And I would think that the water and stuff uh, would be just, I don't know, more readily available so you don't have to specifically uh, order it. Uh. So she like presses 
a Car glass to the table and it fills up with the liquid. Yeah, something like that. Or we don't even have to mention it until it's time to smash the glass. Uh, so let me uh, let me add it in the note form. The okay. I'm amazed I managed to find a video of this so quickly, but here you go. This is sort of what I had in mind. <laughs> uh, just a second. Yeah. She acquires a unit of water too. Could be bottle or glass. Pardon me. Okay, let me pause the recording. All right, and we're back in business. So, uh, we can briefly mention that she acquires some water as well, but uh, I will leave it in green at the moment. Okay. Uh, once alone with her meal, Jewel savored. Oh, got, got it right in the first try. Jewel savored every bite. Enjoying the company. Company, company, <laughs> the company of Zilch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enjoying her own company. Uh, I would, I would sort of want to rub it in that she enjoys that there is nobody there. Uh, the company of nobody. The company of nil. Or enjoying the empty establishment could also work. Like the, f I was I was trying to get enjoying fancy the here. Enjoying the company of no one, like whatever way you word that, doesn't sound like a sentence to me. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't have the punch that I'm intending. Mm -hmm. Like if I would say the company of zilch, you would you would get it. But if I if I say it in, in in plain language, then it no longer has that bite. So so yeah, maybe enjoying the um, empty establishment. Yeah, yeah. I think the empty establishment might work yeah. here. Em the empty establishment to herself. No, 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 no. Just the empty establishment. All right. I was sort of thinking out loud, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, my brain had sent that email before I'd had a chance to look it over. <laughs> okay, uh, so we can go into detail that uh, she pushes the plate into receptacle, and she could actually get her drink now. Yep. Yeah. I used to date a girl who didn't drink anything with her dinner, and then after her dinner she would get a drink. And there you go. That annoyed me, because all her family would sit around and they wouldn't have any drinks for dinner, but I was raised in a house where I must drink while I'm eating dinner. It's just <laughs> too dry otherwise. So, yeah. <laughs> sentence from here and uh, have uh, we 
not already said she planned to be here during the night time? I don't know. Made, uh, we, we said that she made good use of her minimal downtime, but uh, whether we have said it or not, this, this feels like too much on the nose. So we can make the no. contrast uh -huh. between the home world here, but it, it's gonna it's gonna have to be reworked a lot. There's in chapter one it says to catch the quiet time at the docks meant avoiding so much hassle, but I ah, think that's yeah. what we, that's how we touch on it. Yeah. But I do also like the fact that. We mentioned that I know we're not looking at home worlds as you know whole things anymore, but the mm -hmm. idea that she is sort of not so socially different to the area she grew up, mm -hmm. I think that's an important thing to me to mention. Yeah, and I think uh, I think this should go here. So once alone with her meal. She will save it ever by enjoying the empty establishment. Her penchant for solitude was in stark contrast with the vehemently social ways of her home world, our chaos for. It fits there better than it does at the end of the. Y yeah. And also, I'm, I'm thinking whether this should be made. whether I should make it shorter. Mm hmm. This is, I think, her penchant for solitude, vehemently solid. Let's narrow it down to one fancy word. Yeah, in it's this more sentence. like she felt more uh, relaxed here than in her bustling homeworld of Archaeus 4. Intensely? Let me see. I just need a word here. Overtly is not the right word, is it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, it, 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 it's not wrong either, but it's, it's more like um, fiercely. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Very. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I mean that it's there's there's this like uh, a, a note of aggression about it. Fiercely social. Yeah, fiercely social doesn't sound very good. I'm thinking out loud. Um, excess. No. Um, Frantically social. Frantic speaks to a sort of lack of control. Mm, Social think. frenzy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I know, I know. <laughs> Just sitting here fulfilling my beard quality, <laughs> <In> yo. <laughs> Social frenzy of her homeworld, Arcos Four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> frenzy of her homeworld. She in here. In here, she felt more at ease than she ever had in the social frenzy of her homeworld. Comma, Archaos 4? Could be, yeah. I mean, if you do put a comma somewhere and you don't strictly need it, but it's also not taking, not uh, modeling the, the meaning, I say let it be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I tend to over comma rather than under comma. I, I think that's probably better. Yeah, and in also my opinion, that's <laughs> also there, there's there's the thing that uh, in Estonian, certain words that uh, in English don't require comma in Estonian they do require comma like but. Oh. And in English, I tend to I I'm like fuck it, <laughs> I will I will comma all my buts. <laughs> yeah, I think I comma my buts as well. Ah. 
But yeah, basi but, basically, comma, let me be straight but, with you. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, basically, basically, if somebody would ask me any rules, I'm saying, f fuck if I know. It's more <laughs> like it's more like uh, noting down music. Like it's it's audio rhythm. Yeah, it feels right. Sounds right. Yeah, I I, I will I will put something where I feel it belongs. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. So time passes as she's eating, and then she's finished eating. Yeah. So I think we can we can add the point about putting uh, pushing the dishes away and grabbing a drink and then staying seated in the end here. Then again, the being alone and uh, enjoying it is already a process, so we can assume sort of that during that sentence she took the time to savor and finish her meal. Bowl? Uh, I, whenever I have lasagna served to me, it's usually in a big bowl. So, yes. Bowl holds better, let's say. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm torn. And grab the glass of filtered water. And grab the glass of water. Filtered adds the extra... You know? Yeah, but the sentence isn't done yet. Okay. Now, the thing about observing the entrance... Uh, I think it doesn't actually belong. Okay. Like, okay, it's, it, it's part of what she does. It's, uh, it's like, it's a property of her professional thinking. Basically, the message here is that she she will stay for a little while longer. Mm hmm And uh, and we can actually bring in the idea that she has been monitoring the entrance in uh, in the next bit. 
although the way it's presented kind of already implies that she has been watching the uh, the exit. So let's try it like this. And this also means BAM! Are we driving the solitude thing too much? Once alone with her meal, enjoying the empty establishment... Uh, if you compare this with the original paragraph, you will see that this is very subtle co in comparison. Okay. Because, uh, and also, the thing is that these are all things that she does. These are not explanations. So, unless somebody else uh, says that, oh, why does she don't do all that, then I would keep it like this. Okay. Right, let's see. Can I remove this one? because we already have the bunk house. Jury mm. merged! <laughs> 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 Like, on, on one hand, uh, I would want to say that she sort of, like, boop, boop, quietly slips out, but on the other hand, slipped out of the... Hasn't she already been slipping into coats and jackets and things mm. like that already? Yeah. So we might be overusing that language a little bit. You're not going to believe this, but I'm going to suggest you omit the word THE from this <gasps> section. <laughs> oh, but actually, <laughs> in this case I'm going to argue. Okay. Because it should be like this. Oh, okay, so it's like a special thing. Okay, right, I'm with you. I mean, I could omit all the capitals other than uh, Rystar, but basically, I'm, I'm, that's that's the staple there. <laughs> this is like the Rystar Big Mac, you know. Yeah, the Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you can you can explain things with a Pulp Fiction reference, then <laughs> you've got me on board straight away. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Nice. Okay, would you like me to continue? Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go all the way down to farewell. Yeah. A well-dressed man appearing in the doorway ended her moment of bliss. He made a determined stride in Jules' direction. She tensed up and mentally recited the location of her concealed weaponry. Seeker Jewel Harper? He approached the booth. She didn't acknowledge him, but observed co covertly that the new arrival was tall. A few heads taller than her, with broad shoulders. His wrinkled face a shade of sienna, with mahogany eyes and a slightly deformed beaky nose. A combination Jewel had often seen among Rystar's old guard. He placed a thick paper folder on the table, Jewel raised an eyebrow, intrigued. Paper documents were a rare sight, especially in the world of bounty hunters. This folder contains information on a private contract that only you can fulfill. Inside you will also find a forward payment in the form of authorised standard credit prints. It would be in your best interest to read what is written within. Jewel maintained her focus on the entryway. She was unimpressed by the man's self-assured attitude. With a frown that consumed his entire face, the man gave off a sigh before bowing his head and turning to leave. Farewell, seeker. <laughs> I love that. And I also love the fact that it's not... Farewell. It it's not all one word. It is mm -hmm. actually like farewell seeker. Like there's a bit more weight to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And apart from the two obvious problems that you've highlighted, um, <laughs> I can't really think... Like, this is a strong chapter, a uh, strong paragraph to yeah, me. Yeah, I think, I think the uh, weak spots here are the things that we have tried to keep in at any cost that don't actually work, but otherwise it's it's good. Uh, I also, I think, did we, did was it uh, man or gen gentleman in the original version? I don't know, but I, I, I think, hmm. Earlier, we say that one of the people who collects the fugitive is a fella, but a fella is like a. It's a fellow is the proper word, and fella is like the. Uh, you're right, fella. You know. That, it's uh, like that one was marked for change anyway. But this is what I'm saying. In this version, if we replace gentleman with a well-dressed man, it's. There's a difference there. Like I don't yeah, think. It's no, I I know there's a difference, but uh, that's why I'm asking. Uh, I'm uh, what I'm trying to find out is have I already changed it here, or did you re did you read it as man because you think that one's more appropriate? Did I just say man? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm asking. Then I should have read gentleman. That was a problem oh, on okay. my end. Sorry. Oh, okay. In in that case, there is no question, <laughs> because I I was I was gonna argue that gentleman is is better. <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, yeah, we'll get a gentleman then. <laughs> okay, he made So, let's get rid of this right away. None of this. <laughs> none of, out, none of this first name basis nonsense! Yeah. And, spoilers for you at home! <laughs> The gentleman knows perfectly well who Jewel is, <laughs> but she will not find that out until the very end of the book. You're gonna have to do the full spoiler alert for that one, like the whole klaxons and the awooga and all that sort of. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Flashing lights on the screen. Uh. I think she doesn't need to observe covertly. It's okay if she just observes. Tall. And I'm also gonna lose the whole old guard yeah. combination because that's exactly the sort of trying to introduce a shorthand or trying to introduce a profile where none should apply. We mm -hmm. we don't need to profile him, we just need to describe <laughs> him. And and what's what's the rice star got to do with this? <laughs> She didn't acknowledge him, but observed that the new arrival a few heads taller than her. Was it supposed to Was, have a walk? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I lost. She didn't acknowledge him, but observed that the new arrival was a few heads taller than her, with broad shoulders, Had. his wrinkled face. Maybe. Oh, okay, the new arrival was a few heads taller than her, had broad shoulders, his wrinkled face a shade of shit. Uh, <laughs> His wrinkled face, a shade of sienna, with mahogany eyes and a slightly deformed beaky nose. That that hits all the right notes. Mm -hmm. You like can it. you can sort of form a mental picture of him. And very quickly as well. We're not beating around the bush here, but we do it. It it comes off nicely. Place the thick paper folder on the table. Jewel raised a brow. Why do I have to say an eyebrow? What other brows do you know? <laughs> I mean, I, I know this is the sort of standard way of doing things, but... We're going to revolutionize the English language, me and you. <laughs> <laughs> In 
information or data? In my mind, data is machine, information is, <laughs> is paper, but that might just be my own twisted <laughs> perception of the whole ordeal. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> <laughs> data is what is stored on machines and things like that and computers. That's data. And then once you print it out, that becomes a document that's an information document, you know? Mm. Or, or maybe just ignoring. Jewel kept her eyes on the exit. Ignoring. Brushing, brushing okay. off. Or ignoring. Uh, it's it's more like uh, she's not ignoring. She's actively. She's being obtuse. Okay. <laughs> so that was where I had the difference. Is that. Brushing off is an active, ignoring is a passive, and I was thinking it's more of a passive thing, like she's keeping her eyes on the entrance and just deliberately, like, ignoring him. Yeah, but deliberately ignoring is an active choice. So brushing off is the correct term to use here. I love the frown that consumes his entire face. Mm -hmm. I think that's brilliant. Of course, if he knows, like he know he knows what's going on, so he shouldn't show any attitude. His, I think, his problem lies with the way that si that Valkyrie, that Jewel is dealing with him. No, but he shouldn't. He shouldn't have it. He should be. He should be briefed on this. So this uh, this whole attitude, this and that, like any attitude she uh, he shows towards Shul, is basically an act. Yes. Okay, I can agree to that. Man. So no sigh. No. But, but, Let's but get rid bow. of that. <laughs> yeah. With a frown that consumed his entire face, comma, the man bowed and turned to leave. Where were we moving? Ah, oh, face, 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 yes. Jewel kept her eyes on the exit, brushing off the man's self-assured attitude. With a frown that consumed his entire face, the man bowed and turned to leave. Farewell, seeker. I like that. Um... Maybe just stick with Jewel kept her eyes on the exit, still not acknowledging his presence. Yeah, okay, yeah, go with that. Or, or, or not meeting uh, the man's gaze or something like this. So mm, she, Something she, less clunky. Yeah. And also, we can omit things like the man's, because it's just the two of them there, and mm -hmm. the two of them are his and hers, so it could just be brushing off his self-assured attitude, but, I mean, if we're changing the sentence anyway... Yeah. Just something to bear in mind. I will just... I will just end the sentence here. Yep. 
put your eyes fixed on the exit. He's here for all of basically a paragraph. Turns her entire world on its head. <laughs> okay, but now the next one. The the point the the whole something nags her mind and uh, Let's she get rid thinks of this. she has missed yeah because there is no basis for this mm. like she can show her ir irritation or any or, or or whatever but uh, but yeah the whole ooh something is going on doesn't really belong here two on the nose as well I feel yeah. Like, hey, reader, there's something suspicious going on here. <laughs> Attention. Make, yeah, make, make sure, take <laughs> notes. There might be a test later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe she, she waited until he was gone before she touched the, the folder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She waited until he was out of sight before giving in to... Curiosity or whatever, you know. Yeah. Okay, so first... Out. Get out. There you go. Yeah. She'll wait it. Until she was sure he was gone, or until she was sure she was alone again. Uh, he was gone works better because with she, mm. she, yeah. you know. Until certain he was gone, then. Snatched the bowler. Headed out. Yep. Uh, the paper thing is actually like I I know this is uh, this this is uh, filling in the world building retroactively, but uh, the paper. Uh, not being super common, I realized is actually it actually has some basis in uh, in the world building, or it it does fit the assumptions, because mm, like 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 every every tangent and every explanation starts with a terraformer expedition. So <laughs> so let's say you you set up your expedition and uh, you set up your uh, seeds of colony and seeds of new biosphere and whatnot, but the thing is that uh, that an expedition wouldn't rely on uh, on paper media too much. No. Like they they would they would probably bring bring along uh, instruction manuals and books and and stuff, but a lot of it would still be uh either digital or maybe carved on on quartz cr crystals or basically a, a different kind of medium and yeah. when and when these people settled down uh there would be the initial nostalgia for paper maybe if if they grew up with paper but uh but uh with no but since since they they will not be in the world that's filled with paper they would they would uh, pretty much I, I would say that they would be naturally coming up with uh, with different uh, means of uh, uh, of data transfer mm -hmm. because like we return to paper because we're used to it but let's say two generations later 
if somebody were to grow up in a place where paper wasn't abundant, they would come up with a different solution. So, uh, so even if they do have the uh, resource and the technology for paper production, there is no real need. Mm. It's like <laughs> here's <laughs> here's another one of my metaphors coming up. <laughs> it's 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 like Estonia. Uh, Esto most Estonians have mobile phones. It's because uh, during Soviet times, uh, it was difficult to get landlines. Like you had to wait in uh, wait in a line for a long time, and you had to had have it approved and all that. As a result, uh, not everybody had landlines under ho at their home, and also uh, not too many establishments and homes had fax machines when those were all the rage. Which means we have skipped uh, a lot of that, and we jumped right to a, a different technology. Mm. So that that's a little bit like that. So in in that sense, uh, it totally makes uh, makes sense that paper is more of a curiosity thing than mm. uh, than an everyday thing. So there you. Go. World building tangent. Yep. <laughs>